Hi, I'm Rick Steves. I'm in the Parker Library in Corp Corpus Christi, the College of Corpus Christi in Cambridge. And our guide is Anne. Hi, Anne. Hi. What are we listening to here, Anne? We're listening to one of the earliest examples of medieval polyphony in the world. So it's kept in a small book called the Winchester Troper, which is on show today in our library. Can we take a look at that book? Of so course. this is the earliest right example of what is polyphony? What does that polyphony mean? Polyphony just means two voices singing in harmony. And so that's this, this one is right here. This the book here. itself. How that old would that be? Thing. It's made about 1025 in Winchester. Wow. So it would have been used by the prayer cantor, the man who sings the services and in the cathedral. Over here is a collection of letters. And this is, can you just quickly show me a, sure. uh, what, what's an example of a letter? These are like 400 year old original letters yep. collected by Parker, Matthew right? Parker. Yeah, Indeed. it's his library, yeah. Parker at Corpus Christi. Yeah. What do we have? So if we're looking at the beginning, we've got some letters from Charles V. Charles V, the, the Holy Roman Emperor, the most powerful man in Europe 500 years ago. Indeed. And he wrote a letter. Yep, and there's his signature. Right here, that's a letter he wrote, and his signature is there. Hmm. And this library is, uh, it's, it, this is an example of the treasures that are open to the public when we want to come and, and celebrate education here in Cambridge. Mm -hmm. You know, Traveling is a way of just inspiring you. And when you know where to go and how to travel there, it really is a treasure. Again, this is Corpus Christi College in Cambridge. Happy travels.